Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Josh Powers. And I am John Moss. And we're the hosts of The Cheap Seats, brought to you by Public House Media each and every Tuesday. We're here to talk sports. And anything else you can think of that has to do with sports. Bottom line is, we are your conduit. We are fans just like you. We're talking about the stuff that we know that you're talking about around the water cooler. Once you've finished listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media, we hope you'll come and check out our show, The Cheap Seats, every Tuesday on all of your favorite podcast platforms. You'll find us way up here in The Cheap Seats. Hello, my name's Kim Meyer, host of Choose to Rise. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. And when you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Choose to Rise, where I talk all about finding your inner strength, improving confidence, and loving who God made you to be. I bring tips and strategies and things that have helped me rise up to be my current best self and hope that you can do the same every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can find my show on Apple Podcasts, publichousemedia.org, and choosetoriseup.com. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming shows. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. What's up, guys? Welcome to Your Life Matters podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Mariah White, and I am a passionate pediatric nurse practitioner and fired up health and happiness coach here to deliver a simple message to you. This podcast is meant to provide a hope and a dream that fuels your soul to dream big and to dream bold and to and to empower and inspire you to live out your wildest dreams and to grab a hold onto the unwavering truth that you were made for more. Soul Sisters, what's up? I am so excited that you're here. I cannot wait to actually talk to you about this topic because this is actually the second time that I'm recording this podcast episode, which is kind of funny because the topic is on perception. And the perception of how we view things, this perception of how we have an attitude towards something. And I'm not going to lie and tell you that when I hit done and I realized that that episode was gone, all 24 minutes and 56 seconds was erased, that I did not have some few choice words. I was like, are you kidding me? And then I sat there and I said, what did I just talk about on this episode? It's all about perception. It's how you view something. So I'm ready to dive into this episode with you. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to have this topic talk with you guys because it is true, 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 true in my life and anyone's life. It's going to be so tangible and I'm excited. But first, let me talk about leaving a rating and review. Guys, I love seeing your reviews. I love seeing that you, seeing that you guys tag me on Instagram. You send me direct messages. You let me know your feedback. You tell me what's working for you. You tell me how it's impacted your life. And I am so grateful and so thankful because that's why I started this podcast, Your Life Freaking Matters. And when I say what I say at the beginning about living out your wildest dreams and grabbing hold onto the unwavering truth that you were made for more, I mean it. I mean it with all my heart, with all my soul. It's the same thing that I l- wish for my daughter to hear in my, my words of wisdom, as I think and say, is that I want those things to mean something to you when I say them. So guys, I want you to leave ratings. I want you to leave reviews. I want you to tell me what's working. I want you to tell me what you would love to hear. I want you to tell me whether or not you like it. Give me feedback. I'm all about constructive criticism. It is my jam. So guys, with that being said, I'm jumping into this episode's topic and it's all about perception. Perception is what you make it. Guys, I'm serious when I say I recorded this episode already and I'm like, man, how am I going to recreate that? It's perception. The perception is in that situation, I could have wallowed in it. I could have texted my producer and said, I'm done. I have my newborn. I like, I can't manage two things. And I had every intention of like, no, I can't do this. There's not enough time, blah, blah, blah. And then I sat there and I said, Mariah, 
you know what? It's your perception. Take time. Re-record it. You have an ability, a chance, an opportunity to make a difference. Somebody needs to hear this message and that's why that happened. So here we are and I'm talking about perception and I'm changing my perception right now and I'm making it a positive one. So guys, I'm asking you to look right now deep, deep into your situation, into your mess. I always say your mess is your message and your story matters right now in your journey, in your situation, in your mess. You are probably in the nitty gritty of it, the thick of it, and you are like, Mariah, there is no way in hell that I'm going to be able to find positivity in it. I challenge you right now to, to simmer, simmer and bear with me, hear me out. No matter what your situation, no matter what your mess, no matter what is going on right now in your life, I promise you, you can find a positive perception of it all. And I can think back tangibly to when I implemented this myself. And I think back to when my mother put me out. My mother put me out at a very young age, and this is over a decade, guys. And in the beginning, I definitely had the perception of this is the worst thing ever. I'm unlovable. I'm not loved. You know, love is conditional. It's when, if you do this, I'll love you. If you do that, I'll love you. And I had that perception for a really long time that I just was not good enough. It didn't matter that I got straight A's. It didn't matter that I was a collegiate athlete. It didn't matter that I worked my butt off to try and get her attention or her approval. It didn't matter those things. My perception was that I wasn't a good daughter, that I wasn't lovable, and that I was never going to be loved. And then later on in life, I realized if I looked at that situation, that mess, that part of my journey, that season of my life, and I look at it, and how can I make it a positive one? I'm an independent, strong woman. I'm able to show my daughter how to be an independent, strong woman. I now have so much love and compassion as a mother from that situation, and I am the woman I am today. I went after my career the way I did. I was a collegiate athlete because of her, and I did not let anything stop me. Because of that one situation of me getting put out at a really young age and being rejected and abandoned by my own mother, I forever have the belief that I can overcome anything. There is freaking nothing that can stop me. I really truly believed it. I still do to this day. There is nothing in this life that could ever bring me down or hold me back. That is something positive that I gained. I gained grit, resiliency, and relentlessness. I would have never gained that any other way. And that is why I became Dr. Mariah White (laughs) at 25 years old. That is why I sat there and I was relentless in purchasing a house. That's why I was relentless in my marriage and trying to save it. That's why I was relentless about my daughter and wanting to give her the best life. That's why I'm relentless in my business as a lifestyle and health coach. I overcome situations and it's because of that one season, that one journey. And if I would have continued to see it in a bad light, I would have never gotten here. I realized that because my mother did what she did, I am who I am. Now take it a step further. I need you to, I need you to hang with me. Take it a step further. I think about being a single mom. I think about a divorce. I think about sexual assault. I think about homelessness. I think about all these things, all these seasons, all these perceptions, these ways that I could look at it in a negative light and I see who I am today. My daughter only wants two things, my time and my love. That's it. And she's going to continue to want my time and my love. Doesn't matter what age she is. That's the only two things that are a constant that she will ever need from me is my time and my love. It doesn't matter if I'm a single mom. It doesn't matter if I'm angry or frustrated or crazy sad or unbelievably like this is not how I wanted my life to be this is not what I was my life was supposed to look like any of those things it doesn't matter any of that because she wants my time and she wants my love the two things that are constant that's it that's it 
yeah, I can look and say, man, it is so hard knowing that when she cries in the middle of the night, I'm the only one that can get up. It is hard knowing that I'm the only one that's going to be sleep deprived. It is hard knowing that I don't have a tag team person or a teammate to hand her off when I am exhausted. Now, don't get me wrong. There's been plenty of people coming to help me, but I'm talking about in the life, the life look of everything my blueprint of what I wanted I was going to be married and I was going to have a kid and I'm going to have Thanksgiving and I'm going to do Christmas and I'm going to do this and that and that and all these things that we tell ourselves our lives are supposed to look like and then when they don't get there our perception is just that we failed our perception is that we aren't enough our perception is that we won't ever get or achieve what we wanted just because I'm a single mom doesn't mean I can't have Christmas <laughs> Just because I'm a single mom doesn't mean I can't have Thanksgiving. Just because I'm a single mom doesn't mean that I'm a bad mom. Just because I'm a single mom doesn't mean I failed. Because at the end of the day, that little girl needs my love and my time. When she looks up at me at 2 o'clock in the morning when she wants to do her party time, it's me that she gets. And it's me that holds her. And it's me that cuddles with her. And it's me that we're going to love her and give her the time. And she is going to know that guess what? Yeah, mommy might not be married, but guess what? I have my mommy because I sit there and I look back on any type of parenting situation. It doesn't matter that my parents were together or married or that both my parents were in the same house. It didn't matter that. It didn't. It didn't change the course of everything. Granted, it was something that I wanted, but it wasn't like I would have seen if my dad would have divorced my mom or my mom divorced my dad or they would have went their separate ways that I would have ever looked at one of them like they were a bad parent because all I wanted is their time and their love. That's it. So perception of everything is I am a good mother because I show up for my daughter. Perception is, is this situation has taught me compassion. This situation has taught me to embrace the moments, embrace what life is giving you. I have a daughter. All I wanted to be was a mom. Guess what? I am one. I could sit here and be mad and sad and frustrated and betrayed and angry and all of these other emotions that could come into play. Or I could just sit here and say, my daughter is here. She loves me. I love her. She's the love of my life. And I'm going to look at this situation and say, guess what? I get to show her what an independent woman will do for her daughter. That is empowering to me. It inspires me. It encourages me because I know other single moms and I see what they do for their babies. And I'm like, dang, you are my shero. Seriously, I am like in awe of what single moms can do. And then I look at other situations like a divorce. I never wanted to be divorced. I was that person that was ride or die. I'm going to stick it out. When we have vows, you get me. I'm going to grind for you to the end of time. I'm going to have your back. I'm going to do all these other things. And guess what? I did that. I did that, but I did it by myself. I realized that I was one person doing that. And I could look and say, I'm not lovable. I'm rejected. I got abandoned. I did all of these things and I I just am not going to be enough and I should just take my life. And guess what? I was there. I was there when I had suicidal thoughts and depression that was overcoming me and my thoughts of what it was like. And guys, this is the biggest thing and it's going to bring me to tears. I was going to make a permanent decision to a temporary problem based on a perception of what my life looked like. I was going to take my life based on the perception that I wasn't enough, that based on the perception that I was failing, based on the perception that it wasn't going to get better, based on the perception that these clouds, that the thick of it, that the grind wasn't worth it. And I get emotional when I say that because if I would have sat there and made a permanent decision to a temporary situation based on a perception that wasn't true because I couldn't get out of my my own head to look at it with a positive light this beautiful baby girl wouldn't be here I wouldn't have been able to make the impact that I've made I wouldn't have been able to save the lives that I've saved I wouldn't have been able to make the impact on my patients I wouldn't have been able to make the impact on my customers as a health and lifestyle coach I wouldn't have been able to share with you guys all of these things that have helped you 
if I wouldn't have changed my perception. I had a perception shift, a paradigm shift, a perspective shift that these situations that we have in our life do not define us. That they do not have to wear us out. That they do not have to make us feel like we have to take our own life because we aren't good enough or we aren't loved enough or we aren't lovable. That's a perception shift. I need you to hear me right now. I need you to look at me through, like feel me in this moment. And I need you to hear me say something to you. Whatever season you're in, I need you to view it in a positive light. Okay, you were sexually assaulted. What can you do with it? You can help other people. You can share your story. You can help them overcome. You can empower them. You can share your journey. You can talk about it. You can become an advocate. Okay, somebody passed away. Somebody died. What was their legacy that they're leaving behind? How can you share their journey? How can you talk about them? What was the last memory that you had? How can you think about them in a positive way? All right, you're going through a hard time in your relationship. What can you see? How, why do you love your spouse? Why did you fall in love with them? Why, did, why do they make you laugh? Is it really that bad? Can you talk about it? Can you get an outside perspective? And that brings me into my next thing. Sometimes you just need an outside perspective to tell you that you're badass. Sometimes you just need an outside perspective to tell you that it's going to be okay. Sometimes you just need an outside perspective to tell you that you're dope as hell. Sometimes you just need an outside perspective to tell you to get off your ass, stop wallowing in your shit, and just make it happen. Yeah, Mariah went there. She went real and raw and unapologetic because guess what? Your life matters. What if you need that, pers- that perspective, that person to tell you that guess what? Yeah, it's hard, but it could be worse. I don't know how many times my... Friend Virginia would sit there and say, Mariah, you got a roof over your head in a house that is way too damn big for one person. You have an incredible career making over six figures. You have a business that's thriving and you're going to be a mom. Everything that you wanted. What is so bad about that? So what? You're going to be a single mom. You got this. Stop wallowing in it. I was like, dang, Gina, I'm backing up. You are right. So what? It doesn't look the way. The way that I want it. So what? It doesn't look picture perfect. So what? It doesn't look like the way that my blueprint was supposed to look like. I was supposed to be married. I was supposed to have a family. I was supposed to have Christmas and dinner and Thanksgiving and all this other stuff. You're telling me because I'm a single mom, I can't have that? You're telling me because I'm a single mom, I can't have Christmas. I can't have Thanksgiving. I can't feel loved. I can't bring people into this house and be warmed and welcomed. And I can't instill in my daughter that she can be an independent woman. B.S. Guys, I need you to hear me. Your perception is holding you back. Your perception, your negativity, the way that you're viewing stuff is holding you back. The way that you look at something when you're negative and you see it in a bad light is because you feel like you're lacking something. You feel like you're failing at something. I'm here to tell you you're amazing. I'm here to tell you that it's going to be okay. I'm here to tell you that you can overcome. I'm here to tell you that it's going to get better. I promise you. I've talked about divorce. I've talked about suicidal thoughts. I've talked about rape. I've talked about death. I've talked about dying. I've talked about all these things that we can see in a negative light. Yes, and it's hard. Your situation, sister, is hard. I get it. But guess what? When you come outside of that situation into a new season, if you don't gather the positivity of that old season, you're never going to grow through what you go through. You're never going to overcome it. You're never going to see it in a positive light. I sit there and I think about divorce. Okay, how can I help somebody? I've helped other women get through it. I've been able to encourage them and I've been, been able to empower them. How can I help with suicidal thoughts and depression? I've been able to help people through that and realize that it's temporary and it's not permanent and that they can see positivity. There's a roof over my head. There's clothes on my back. There's food in my stomach. There is a electricity on, whatever it is. Okay, it's hard being a single mom, but guess what? There are so many freaking people that love that little girl. It's unreal. People will drive half across town, two, three-hour drives, just to come and be there for this little girl for me because they love me. So you're telling me that my life's bad? No, it's going to be okay. 
So when I sit there and I think about how my mom left me and abandoned me, and I think about how, you know, it was, everybody says it's because her mom did that. Guess what? I get to break generational curses and show that little girl that she is loved, that she is wanted, that she is needed, that she is more than enough, and that she is worth fighting for. That's what I get to do. So guys, look at your situation right now. Look at your season right now. And I need you, I need you to see the positivity. I need you to feel me when I say that everything is going to be okay. That you are loved, that you are wanted, that you are needed, that you are worthy, and that you are more than enough. And I promise you, soul sisters, hear me when I say this. You can always find the positivity in the situation. I promise you, no matter what, that little girl will look at me and say, my mommy was independent. She kept going. And when she finally found the man that was going to love her and love me, she taught me every day to be grateful. Every single day. When she wakes up, she will tell me three things that she's grateful for. Because guess what? There are so many things in this life to be blessed and happy about. Before she goes to bed, she's going to tell me what she made an impact in and how she loved another person because guess what in this life it's about the impact you make and how you love others that's it it's not that bad guys feel me with the positivity feel me in changing your perception and if you really can't change your perception go find somebody that can help remind you how dope you are help you remember that you are an overcomer help you remember how much you've already overcome and how amazing that you are change your perception guys i hope you gathered something tangible from this i hope you felt me on this i hope you feel how amazing i think you are and that everything is going to be okay but you got to see the positivity in it and you got to realize how blessed you are because it could be way worse on the other side And even no matter how bad your season is, your situation is, I promise you, your life freaking matters and that it's going to be okay. You got this. I believe in you. All right, guys. All right. Man, I felt that one. I hope you did too. And I hope you know how much you are loved and how much I am just so grateful that you are here and hearing this message. And just remember, above all, that your life matters.